What's up, nerds? My name is Chai, and welcome back to Stories Untold. Uh, we are going to do episode two, The Lab Conduct. Press escape at any time to pause and get help. This is subject 1219-8623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. Department of Experimental Sciences. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. Interesting. Let's bring this back. Experiment one. X-ray the artifact. Manual. Uh, one. Camera. Monitor set to X-ray. Charge. X-ray device. Alright. Uh. Okay, so that'll zoom in. Okay. Camera. Um, where's the x-ray machine? Laser generation. X-ray, there we go. Uh, what did we need? The electro ray. A camera, monitor, set to x-ray, charge, CC86 x-ray device. Oh, so that was the right one. Monitor, set to x-ray, charge, and camera? The x-ray is coming through now. No visible damage to the surrounding organic material, and no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Alright, now what? Experiment complete. Demonstrate the effect of laser light on the object. Try using a low-powered red laser to begin with. Um, this one was laser. I can probably turn you off. Let's see, what do we need for the laser? Red is 650 nanometers. And the monitor is set to RGB. That's someone's heart. No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. Okay. Um, surface reaction used the green laser, which is going to be 510 nanometers. Why are you lasering someone's heart? Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. Experiment complete. Uh, blue laser. 
455. Well, it is a heart. Why? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. No activity registering in the core. Possibly damaged. Let's push further. All right, take the test the acoustic resonance properties of the object, generating a 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gain set to one. That's gonna be this, uh, turn you on. Uh, sine is wibble wobble. It's been a while since I've looked at energy waves. I think that's right. Yeah, sign is the wibble wobble. I was right. Amplifier to set the gain. That, this one's... Interesting. Whose heart is this? Uh, 500 hertz gain of five. These are interesting mechanics. I thought it was going to be all the typing things again. I wonder if this story connects to the other one. It looks like it's gonna explode. You're making a shake. Some fluctuations in activity. Should we increase? Do the risk of damage? What about the volunteers? I don't like how you said volunteer. Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Uh, square wave 500. That's just gonna be... Oh god. No, that's bad. Stop it! Seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in movement. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous. But you need to trust us and keep going. Uh, agitation. Gain five square waveform, bring the waveform to one kilohertz. That's so high, though. God, I feel like it's gonna explode. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Full activity registering. We did it. Can you hear us? You've made it excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of the discomfort. Protective casing is off, proceed to drill the surface. Turn you off, turn you off. Drill. On? Uh, you killed it. Feel. 
Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. I'm really confused. Make contact. Open the chest chamber. Police lights. It's time to remember. Oh, God. The hell? data connection ready. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity force belts, impacting the planet's surface to turn a hole in the ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You in grave danger. You have to get out of here. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Leave cryopod? Memory action unavailable. Um, open cryopod. Leave craft. Huh. Hmm. Oh, you tap at the screen and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of two the reserves. Open door. Mildly terrifying, and I hate it. Squeeze through the damage airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you're surrounded by mangled metal. Bright light pours through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Are we getting all this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Miss Asian, please continue. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully fall through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Move forward? No. Um. Stand up. Uh, look around. Circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Wave. Um. That forward. No. Um. Can I say hi? So. Oh. What? Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever made it this far. That's not worth much. Nope. Nope, this is terrifying. How about you not? Why 
Why was this memory cube stored in the being's heart? We awake. The room is silent, only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Look around. We're in a bed in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There's some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They have tortured us. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at the crash. Whose memory do they? Interesting. Can't reach the door effectively tethered to the machine. Remove wires? We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together, we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm, echoing loudly down the ears. Interesting. Read writing. Then we'll seem to indicate where on your body they had to cut. We've been butchered and maimed over and over. Look around. Can I leave the bed now? No! I do what I want! Even if that's terrifying! Ooh, I'm outside. It was so peaceful! And then it was just- FACE! I hate it! Through the door we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works. But this host does. The door closed behind us in a lock, clamped shut. We are alone together. Look around. It is some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets with a door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut, and the other door had an orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room, a table holding only a small device taken from your It's My R ship. Uh, look at markings. No? Um. Look. At device. It was an access code terminal for a wide connection, allowing commanders to cam commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to codes. It's time to use them. Use codes? Oh. Uh, um. Oh. These ones? I'm not sure which ones it needs. Maybe? This one's hard to figure out. Cutscene! I did something! Do something here. Probably not. Ooh, that's the end of it! Awesome. Okay, so this has been episode two. 
Uh, what was it called? So this has been episode two, The Lab Conduct of uh, Stories Untold. I don't see at all how that connects to the first one. Um, but we will be back soon with episode three. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know down below. If you know how these stories fit together, please tell me, because right now I'm just pretty confused. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and I will see you in the next episode. But until next time, free the aliens. Free the aliens! Bye!